Hello, class. In this activity, uh, we will learn how to apply construction geometry as a guide to your sketch. So make sure that you have this file open up in your Autodesk Inventor, the construction and slice.ipt. Right? It looks something like this. Uh, you'll be presented by this revolved body and with some steps of it. All right. Let's look to the sketch of this revolution one. So go to the model browser, expand it by clicking on this plus sign and double click on this sketch number one. Here, you will notice that some of the sketch, some of the edges is actually not fully constrained. To really, to, to easily identify non-constrained edges is by the color of it. So these green edges, are not fully constrained. We will now apply an edge. Uh, we will draw a line to act as a point to, con uh, to constrain them along these edges. Let's start under the sketch pad, sketch tab, click on line, and then let's just draw a line across here. Right click, press OK to end the line function. So, because we don't want this line to be uh, to take effect when we're doing revolve or extrusion, it's always best practice to click on this line, right mouse click, and change it into construction edge. You can also modify this line type from here. Now, let's apply a dimension. You like this? Construction line to be 45 days. And we will apply coincident constraint from here till here, here to here, here, and lastly, here. Right click, OK, to end the coincident constraint. With this, we have fully achieved a constraint entity here. Press on the finish sketch to exit the sketch mode, and you have the whole thing updated. On to our second item here, we're going to perform slice graphics. So, in the model browser, under the origin folder, expand it further. You click on the YZ plane and create a new sketch. So when we were revolving when we are rotating this object, you know there's internal features in this here. But when we are looking directly on this fella, the internal feature is not being shown carefully. To do so, right mouse click on any graphic window and select slice graphic. Doing so, now with the hole itself. And this feature, the darker gray area, are the part with material. You can treat them as section areas. Another way to achieve slice graphics is also by pressing the F7 key on your keyboard. You can show and you can hide them. Now, we will apply a project H geometry. To do so, under the sketch tab, create panel, expand this project geometry, and click on project cut geometry. What happened here, whatever area with materials okay, will be projected. With that, we can actually use this close profile to create something else, to create another feature. Let's finish a sketch. Click on extrude, select the feature here, and we can click and hold this arrow and drag it away and press OK. Another common use tool during your sketch is called Project Geometry. Let's click on this top surface to create a new sketch. 
what happened here, we can just expand this project card edges and select project geometry. And we can project individual edges. Or you can also project the whole perimeter of a surface. This gives you a better control as compared to the project edge geometry. And with that, we can finish the sketch and you can also do a revolve. Click here, select an axis and click here. And we can change it to be like this. Press OK. And how we create features from it. Thank you, guys.